hello guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how you can use shape engine the new version okay it has gotten a new features that allow you to generate all the 52 arcade blend shape for your rig character so this add-on works with a character that has been rigged with rigified auto rig pro and also your own custom rig character but today um, it has got new features so here you are going to install the add-on when you download the add-on it will comes like this so select it and let's extract to the folder let's open it so you have these two files here which is admission to and shape engine file. Yeah, you are going to copy the address as test and let's open blender let's go to edit preference install and here i'm going to paste the address test here and the first thing you have to do is select the shape changing zip file and click on install and then click on install again and let's paste the same address here and this one we select the animation to python file.py okay let's install and now it has been enabled here so the add-on will appear in animation to here so it starts from register face object animation to sk expression next marker reference and general shaking okay so the new features that has been added is the, the reference so here let me start from start to finish how you can use it all okay so the first thing you are, you are going to do so select the character rig and click on rename from the source rig if your character is rig with auto rig choose auto rig if they rig with rigify choose the meta rig this character is rig with rig auto rig so i'll choose auto rig pro uh, let's go and register all our face objects in here so here i'm going to register the body the left eye the right eye the eyebrows the upper teeth okay, so let me unhide them so after this select your character rig and click on transfer animation and hit ok once you hit ok you can see there's a keyframe with markers on the timeline so let me play the animation for you to see so you can see our character is moving it faces this is what we are going to convert into the shape key as you can see the character is moving its expression low it doesn't move much we have scale expression here for scale expression you can use to scale how the expression moves you want to move more okay so you are going to multiply it by um by a volume so i'm going to for up to rig use location multiply only and leave the rotation scale one one okay so i want to multiply it by two so i want to multiply how this moves by two and then click on apply now you can see the eye blink close more and you can see how it's moving the eye okay, you see it moved much than before okay so you see how now you can also use reference okay so here show reference so what you have to do is change from out linear to image editor okay so you change to image editor and click on show reference before you click on show reference make sure you click on next marker on this or you stand on frame 10 where there is a marker on and then click on show reference and click on show reference you can see this is eye blink left okay, this eye blink left that means the eye left should be blink like this you can use this as a reference to track your 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 animation okay so let me go to post mode and here i want to make the eye blink close away and let me insert key so if you want to finish press e select all the bones the rest and i to insert key on that frame so that one will become the eye blink so you can click on next marker and this is i look down left and you can see we have i look down left and this will show you example how it looks so let's go next marker and this I look in left so you can just click on this and it updates from here and you see how it's supposed to be okay. so let me show you another if you want to decrease the strength for example this eye blink you can see it closed more if you don't want to use the post to track it you can just go to scale expression here decrease the expression when the multiplier is below one it will decrease the expression when it's higher than one it will increase when it is one it will remain the same okay so you want to decrease it by let me uh like this and here i'll choose current frame only that i want to apply to this current frame the frame i am so it's not going to affect the others okay take note 
and then let me click on uh, apply and you can see this one move up so you can just check it how you want it so you can check through all your blend shapes and it will look here you see this is the marker jaw left and there's the jaw left so when you check this it's the same method you you can use for a custom record for a custom record the animation will not play all you have to do is just look at the reference and push your character to look at this at the animation so all you have to do is just thread the pose to make it match right mouth lower right this house so you can see when it's zero it's look like this when it's one it's supposed to look like this so when you're done uh posting your character to my this just go to here to not shaping when you select your character body you can see uh when you go to vertex there's no shaping for this character here so we are going to generate shape so what we have to do is just click on generate shaping when you click generate shaping you're going to convert all these keyframes into shaping for all of the object you have been registered in the register face object down now we have this okay so we have all this uh blend shape here so you can see it's not using the arcade means all I have to do is click on make arcade and all the name is going to turn to this so right now you have all the 52 arcade blend shape it ends on a tank out so right now you can see the animation is still playing and this is still there okay so all I have to do is select your character rate and click on go to admission to and click on clean rate this will delete all the keyframes and the markers from here right. Now your cutter is clean and there's no animation on it but you can see when you click here there's so many uh frames or images that are been imported into blender this can confuse you so all i have to do is after you have done it just go here and click on clean reference and this will remove all your reference from blender and it will left it there once you, you, you were using okay it will remove the one just added so now you have your cutter with its blend shape so let's go here now we have eye blink left we select it you can go one and it will blink like this if we select the the blend shape or the shape key like this and you want to show how it looks again just select it and click on show select the selected shape key this one will not click on this but click on this one show selected shape and this will show you this eye blink left and when it's one it's supposed to look like this when it's zero it's supposed to look like this okay so this is very cool okay, so you can go to scoped mode and if we don't look right you can use the scope tool to make it uh match how you like it okay so here you can go to smooth and then decrease the strength and smooth out okay to make it look right you can go to um eye wide so we set it and here click on show selected shape key and this eye wide it will show you so you can use the scope tool to make it uh press g for grab and you can fix it here you have your open here and you set it to one so just click show selected shape key and you can see the jaw open it will show you how it's supposed to look this the teeth is not open because the teeth is a separate object okay when you go and you set the jaw uh, open for the teeth you can see the teeth also open you can test all the this mouth left click on show select shaking and this how it's supposed to look so if it doesn't look right you can always smooth to make it look good okay you smooth to or grab to make it match like this when you're done just click on clean clear reference and it will remove just fade back to out linear and you are good to have your character rig so still your character rig is going to be useful you don't need to read your character again if you already has been read your character you see it's worth it rigify it's worth it auto rig and very good okay so this is how it is so right now you have your 52 arcade okay here so let me show you another add-on called drivers control this add-on link will be in the description it's free you can download it so let's say you have money blend shape or you have a uh, money object like this and you have the eyeball separate if you want to make the jaw open you can see you need to set the jaw open to one and set this one also one and set this one to one you see it can take you 
a lot of time to make this so if you want to control all of them at once all i have to do is um let's select this one select the model object that you want to use to control the others go to driver's control and click on plus this will add this and press it select all the others and add them to the collection and click on create drivers now you can see there will be a connection of drivers where you can use to so now when you set the jaw open you can see the tank teeth or the other object will follow along like this okay so this is very cool so now you can set the eye blink i look down and you can see we have not selected the eye but you can use this one to control this okay so you see it looks very good so this is how it works thank you for watching